It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. Cold <laughs> I'm in Dallas, eight degrees. Y'all know what to do. But we back for another hot episode of Cocktails of Queens. I hope it warms me up. So you know what it is. I'm here with my girls, Vivica A. Fox, Lisa Ray, Salita Johnson. They all warm up cold. Oh, we about to pitch all the hot topics. I'm going to try to get through this show. <laughs> Please welcome the producer and actress Vivica A. Fox. She's warm. I'm cold. Strange, strange. It's a little chilly, but you know, Claudia, we love you, girl. You brave through the weather, girl. We love you, girl. Okay, we hold on. Just stay warm. From the studio. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Right. With the we have some business and uh, business women inactive with the very cute ponytail, Miss Lisa Ray. Hello, hello. And I'm going to have a little fur for you too. It's, it's, it could be a little nippy where I am. If not, I'm hot. Wow. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. Coordinate. Coordinate. And the beautiful Grammy nominated singer, oh, yeah. Selena Johnson, with the hair coming through. You, you look very cute. Everybody looks really cute today. Thank you. I'm feeling very vampirish tonight, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I'm going to get through. I just need some sun and I'm going to be all right. I'd rather be a vampire than look like Kenny from South Park. I look, I'm giving Kenny from South Park. You know, y'all watch South Park where they kill Kenny the whole every, every episode? <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I'm in Dallas and they're having the coldest weather they've ever had ever. Yes. It's like eight degrees. I had to abandon my place. I have no heat, no electricity, no water, no run of nothing. It's yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna have a fun hot show tonight. I need this tonight. Ladies, it's our special Valentine's Day show, which which was yesterday. But today's the day after Valentine's Day. It still kind of counts, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love, I see love, love is in the air every day. You know what I mean? Yes. Like who doesn't love love? That's right. We got right. some fools that don't now. Let's just go and keep those. Real. But those, those are the ones that's been hurt. They are not know? counting the night. How those about that? Like can't see through. <laughs> like, oh. Let me tell y'all something about the queens of uh, of cocktails with queens, y'all. We all talk about it, you know. We was like, so baby, we need to do red. So let's do it right. So we didn't give y'all all red outfits and be like team too much. But right. look at the wonderful accents. You know, mm-hmm. happy <laughs> Valentine's Day, darlings. And they before, in full disclosure, before we saw the show, they was kind of my ghetto ass background. I'd be in a club <laughs> in Cleveland and Detroit. Right. That's right. Take some pictures in the club. I yeah. have taken pictures in front of that very background in the 80s. Yes, yes. ma'am. <laughs> that, that was definitely our turnabout background back in high school. <laughs> Y'all think that was from Keith Sweat concert or Keith Watson? <laughs> I'm giving y'all throwback Valentine's Day here. Ghetto Valentine's Day over here, because that's what I'm about. I'm like bougie and ghetto at the same time. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, Vivica, what's new with you these days? Oh, I have an, uh, I hear you have an exciting new project to tell us about. What's I going do, on? I do. You know Foxo. Foxo will, will keep you working, baby. So I am now the host of The Screening Room. It's going to yes. be premiering this Thursday, where we take uh, African-American filmmakers and we give them a profit, perfect platform to showcase their short films. And when I'm telling y'all the films are anywhere from five minutes up to 20 minutes in that range. And the talent that came through and the passion for filmmaking was just touching. And I just love the fact when we can tell our stories they're for us and they're by us, which means that you know you're going to get truth in the moments that they were. Because I'm about to go direct. So, Chad, I was looking at some of their angles. I ain't going to lie. I was like, Ooh, okay. But they were good. So good. So, this Thursday, check it out on Fox Soul. The Congratulations, Soul. Vivica yes, Fox. Another you. one. And Fox Soul keeps growing and growing and growing. And y'all growing with us. And I love to see it. Love it, love it, love it. So, y'all make sure Amazing. you check it out on Thursday, the screening room. I seen some of the pieces that came through already. Some great mm. projects. Y'all do definitely don't want to miss that. And what people don't really realize about that kind of platform is that they absolutely don't realize that there is a place that they can submit their work so it can be seen. And so that's the great thing about it, because there's a lot of talented people out there that just don't know where to go. So now you know where you can go. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Keep them checks coming, Fox O. Fox O is doing their thing. Every day I'm hustling, child. But that wouldn't fit me. Can I tell y'all what I love about Fox O is that I just really am so proud of the network that they're giving grown folks. Including every one of us, that it's like every Monday we get to talk about our projects, life, and everything. Like during a pandemic, this has been so welcoming. So thank you, Fox Soul. We love y'all. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And I, I, I let me tell you, I want to double down on what she just said. Mm. I think that it is so amazing that they look at talent in house. 
you know, there's so yeah. much talent that's already here that they continue to foster, to grow. And I just, I just, man, I just think it's dope. It just really solidifies the family yes. spirit of this network. And I'm just so excited to be a part of it. And I'm so happy for you, Vivica, because man, who wouldn't want to show their short film to Vivica A. Fox? Exactly. I mean, and exactly. let me, and let me add this to it as well, because a lot of people are like, Fox, so what? Fox, so who? You know, but when you become a part of something from the beginning yes. and you are a part of the growth of that. And so right. it is not about just being like, boom, in your face. You got to be willing to get in the trenches with things. Okay. You, know I mean? you got to preach. Grow to start with something. You know what right. I mean? Come and on, so you may not it. have known and about us then and you mm -hmm. may just be getting to know about us now, but you're going to hear about us in the future. Too. Come That's on, part. shout, okay. shout. Okay. shout. Amen. Amen. It's also, oh. it also means a lot to the network like Fox Soul. I could definitely speak to this, that being down with the network like this from the beginning before it really blows up means a lot to them. And then they're more likely and inclined to like give you more opportunities and increase your paycheck and do all that kind of stuff because you took a chance on them too. You yeah. know what I mean? We all have names, fan bases and, and, and resumes. And for that, you know, and, and to, for us to believe in them and build from early on, that means a lot. It's easy to get on when it's hot. It's right. not even to get on when it's not. So, and we are making it that. So, thank you so much, Fox Soul. And let's, let's get this toast. show started. Let's, 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 let's toast to Vivica's new project and, and Fox Soul. And Cap right. Queens and everybody yeah, else. Yeah. Wait a minute. And they're winning awards now. Didn't you just hear about yes. them winning the awards? You know, Black we get report. these emails and baby, we like, yeah, we big up and over here, Fox Soul. Black, <laughs> Black Report. Black Report is Black coming report. up. That's big. That should be really good too. So ladies, before we dive into some topics, mm -hmm. we definitely have to take a moment and send our condolences to rapper Nicki Minaj, whose father was reportedly struck and killed by a hit and run driver in New York on Friday. He was just 64 years old, which is awful. I've been hearing this has been happening a lot more in New York. Well, not just in New York, but everywhere. People are just like the, the, the disregard of life and to just keep on going is, is disgusting. So our it thoughts really and is. prayers. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her because she, she's a new mom. He yeah. was a new grandfather. And now that baby would not get a chance to know his grandfather. And I know that, you know, Nikki, you know, finally having her first, wanted to be able to share that with him. So my condolences to her, you know. Wrong with people. Like, I, I just, I, I don't get how you can just do that to another human being and just keep it moving and, and then sleep at night. I hope your life is plagued with lots of nightmares and sleepless nights and stomach aches. I think that's horrible. But you know what? It is. The people in New York, they move so damn fast anyway. Mm. And so I'm sure that they probably didn't even know. They probably felt like, okay, I just spun them around or something and I'm going to keep it moving because they, and I don't want to say all of them because I was going to say rude, you know, but you know, you even have the bicyclist hitting your car like, get out of the way. It's Show so enough. It's so there much is a level of aggression. But I promise you, I hope, I hope, and I'm, I'll actually pray that they find that person. I hope yeah, that they, they got will. cameras everywhere and they do this just like they do any type of other murder because that's exactly what happened they got that the these, these people that they are the driving time. like they are in too fast too furious that's the hell what's wrong with everybody slow down do you know what and i mean they, they, and you know you'll be seeing people they be like mm -hmm. you be like wow okay like you know children are out going to school and older people are crossing the crosswalks like slow down for just a minute and everybody's not in a hurry Everybody's yeah. not in a hurry. You know, you should have left 10 minutes sooner. That's me. Well, when that karma comes, it's not yeah. going to be pretty. And I'm not going to feel any sympathy for this person. So Facts. that's, and that's, and that's how Mary had a little man. How about that? Okay. Oh, can, wait, wait. Can I just okay. get some clarity about Mary had a little lamb? Just I don't know. Up. It just sounds funny. Where, 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 I know. Where did Mary have a little lamb come from? I, I know, know where it came from. That's all. Mary had a little lamb. Let me tell you something. So, like, where did, did you Mary? See? Oh, we doing lullabies? No. Okay. Did you see it? It all came from. Now I saw this on Charlemagne the God's page, <laughs> but at the top of the year, he posted. Did you see the man that came out the trunk? And he was sell, He's a car where salesman. The where the money resides. Where the money resides. resides and he was like, yeah. "Yes, honey." And that's on Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> oh, so is that that's, what that's okay? Yes, it came oh, from him, which is they love super him. Super funny, and yeah. I use it all the time. <laughs> uh, I, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't even know why. It just sounds so funny. It's like an exclamation point on everything. And it's like, it's, I don't know. Let me tell you something. It's part of the LGBTQ community lingo. Yes. When I tell you they give us the best. Yes, they do one lingo. line. That's crazy. Crazy. Absolutely. And, crazy. and death drop. 
That's I, I, I tell I you, never, I live for the LGD, LGBTQ community. Elemental P. <laughs> Elemental P, honey. Was I tell you, they give us all the best saying. So shout out. His name is Darrell Smiley. Shout out to Darrell Smiley. Darrell, yes. Uh, okay. Stolen. Yes. 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 And Almost. A little okay. Speaking of the community, shout out to T.S. Madison for getting her own show on the WeTV TV and yes, network. Madison. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. ladies. Janet Jackson's name was thrust back into the headlines recently after Justin Timberlake posted an apology to her and Britney Spears for his sexist behavior in the past. You're a little late, Justin. Um, but Janet used her social media to thank her fans for their support over the weekend. Let's take a look. And I want to thank all of you for making control number one once again after 35 years. I never, never in a million years, I, I would never think that this would happen. I really appreciate you and I love you so, so much. Thank you. In the apology posted on Twitter read, I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson, both individually, because I care and respect these women and I know I failed. Justin Timberlake and Janet's Super Bowl performance in the infamous wardrobe malfunction was way back in 2004. Is his apology just long overdue or is it better late than never? What do y'all ladies think? Well, he apologized when that happened. Definitely, yeah. I remember that. But I think because it came back around, wait, who did the documentary? Was it Britney? Yes, or, the Britney you know, Spears documentary came just up came that. out, yeah. And yeah. so when it came back up, you know how they bring it back around, then, it, you know, you have a whole new fan base, then it makes you have to readdress it again. When I first read it, I, it almost, it was so long ago, it almost made me go, well, what happened recently that made this shit? That, that, right. That, you know? yeah. Why is this news again? Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just think, like you said, the connection between that moment, but I had no idea that he screamed on Britney Spears the way he did. They showed that little clip. I was like, but he was mad at her. And oh, I didn't see that clip. oh, girl, yeah, he told it that he took it, you know, and 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 was like, yep. So it, it just was a long time coming. And then the thing with Brit with Janet Jackson, you know, it's like it kind of slowed slowed things down for her, and then he just kind of like ran away from you know, the moment. She could have used that apology because he's white and mainstream. He, she could have used that right when it happened instead of like waiting so long because people for a long time really shamed her for like she was yes. some kind of fuji or whatever how could she do this and he had a part in it as well so i'm like where was this then it's easy to say sorry for something you did 16 years ago now i could say sorry mom for that time i stayed out late or i i crashed your car 20 years later but you know that's a long time she'd been waiting for that I and can i say this there was totally sexism in it because the next Super Bowl or whatever it was, Adam Levine came out and mm -hmm. totally took off his shirt and nipples was everywhere this and the third, but because it's a guy, it was everybody's like, okay, what's the, you know, go ahead, Lisa. But this right. was a mistake. This was a malfunction, wardrobe malfunction. She didn't try what? to do that, right? This no. To that story. No, that, it know? was planned. You <laughs> not, I mean. I said stick to that story, you know. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So, either way, though, like even if it was a malfunction or not, what I'm concerned about is why was Janet crucified more than anyone else? And here's the thing that we don't address enough. Well, we're, we're just now starting to act like we know how they treat black women in media well, yes, and, and in the entertainment absolutely. industry. Yeah. So you, you could be Janet yes, yes. Jackson and they don't care. They will still crucify you. And, the, and I feel like the blame is on the NFL. Because it always, you know, as we can see, they are outrageously horrible anyway. Because if you want to be real technical, where was Colin Kaepernick during the Super Bowl? So I just think that the NFL organization in, in general is trash. And the way that they held it, they could have they could have done better with Janet Jackson. She's an icon. Clearly, you don't think that she's out here trying to throw her, her breasts, her titties around to get likes or to get claps. So she was she already to do that. She, already come she was Janet Jackson. Big, okay. Yes. Musical family, okay. period. So and then Justin. Saw the nipple, and the nipple, it wasn't even a nipple showing. Look, Kim did it at the, um, the awards when MTV Donald Trump you know, did that. So why MTV was that a big deal? And, and even it was the plan. nipple showing, though. It, it, oh, it wasn't even no yeah. nipple. It, it was, was just a pasty. Showing. And it even if it was planned, the fact that they went so hard on her and he was off scot-free when he's the one that ripped it off. I think it was maybe planned. I, I don't know what it was because it came out perfectly. But who knows? The, my problem is 
keep that same energy for him as you give it right. to her. It's so easy to just like attack the black woman, but that's across the board. We keep seeing that. Let's take a quick break. We have a lot more to discuss here on Cocktails and Queen. When we return, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I posted that on my page, Lisa Ray. Shit. I don't know what, what I'm going to say. say. I'm going to say it. Jermaine Jackson is oh, the original oh, Gorilla Glue pioneer. So remember that for Black History Month. He was the first. He did it first with the little hairline. Who thought that this kind of hairline was natural? It was like this, then it goes like this. Nobody thought I hate it was y'all. Natural. Nobody I hate thought y'all. it was natural. I, you know, it just was done. <laughs> I love the Jacksons, but Jermaine looked like a Ken Dow, and I'm and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I love. Why him is he always look so wet though? He's always looked so wet. <laughs> He's the plastic. He looks like a wax, like like somebody stole him out the wax museum and put a battery in his back. And I, I'm here in the world. Like the real Jermaine is at home. He's at home chilling. But the Jermaine that we get is the wax museum Jermaine. They put a battery pack in his back and send him out into the world. I love the Jacksons with the afros and the thick nose and the lips and black and black fists. I love them. The they were fine back like that. Yeah, I want to know Oh, yes. Jackson's can't do no wrong. One of them to show up with that with that flared, uh, uh, brightly colored tuxedo with the ruffled <laughs> on the thing, and then spin around, hit you in that. Oh, Looking yeah. Like a gun temptation, you know. Ow. Listen. So if this was the '80s, right, at the at the peak of the the Jackson Five, which Jackson Five would y'all want to have a night with? Michael, Michael was it? Michael. Michael. Yeah, as far as sex appeal, Michael yeah. was fine. Huh? Jackie, was Jackie was fine. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie yes. was nice looking. But Michael as far as sex to... appeal, <laughs> y'all got to make your hold up. Jackie bone structures where all of them was trying to get to. That's true. Jackie had the straight nose, <laughs> jawline. Jackie had the six pack. Jackie could hit it. And but Michael had the future. Jackie Michael had a tight. I don't know what y'all ain't know. Baby. I would take Michael. Michael I would take Michael, but I'm gonna need him to stop whispering and put a little bass <laughs> in the voice when he's having sex. I can't. You can't you like, don't know if he, he likes he like you know, like what she else want for it. That's <laughs> true. Marie Paransley won for it. He might give you every bit of this. I heard Michael was a beast in bed, though. I did hear that. I was about to say, don't I, I heard Michael had another bass level that when you really talked to him, that he was like, "Yo, what up." <laughs> Yeah. Probably in real life, you probably like. Uh, I, I heard it. I'm telling you, they was like, "Oh man, Michael just, you know." Can you imagine when Michael? We all, to yeah. When he calls him, he's all swagged out. He's like, "Man, that's some bullshit for the fucking kids, man." I ain't <laughs> <laughs> man, what up, man? Get, get, bring that ass over here. Get over Michael here. Had an afro and like, turn it up. Turn he it was, up. He was, he he was putting it down. Right now. They so from Betty, Gary. Betty was packing too. Know about, um, you, know, girl, you know about this. They from Gary, Indiana. Those soft voices were not making it in Gary, Indiana. Listen, listen. <laughs> you know how people conform to when you know to what they need to conform to to get to where they gotta go. That's right. true. You saw <laughs> Janet come out here and whisper. You saw Janet just whisper. So you already know the whole family this is. Why do my death drop me. again? <laughs> 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 Listen, Jen is still whispering even when she cuts your ass out. Yes, I would like to thank um the fuck Justin Timberlake and everything that he stands for. But I would like to thank you all for making uh uh control number one. She's still whispering. She's like, bitch, I ain't gotta raise my voice for none of you all <laughs> at all, at all. Um, at all. Oh, I'm me. I'm me. <laughs> We got a topic that y'all oh. probably not going to be happy about. Uh, the LAPD is facing backlash. I don't know if y'all saw this after an offensive Valentine's Day style photo featuring the image of George Floyd was distributed about. They was emailing. So they thought this shit was funny. The image was like a Valentine's Day card. It said, you take my breath away with the oh, picture cool. of George Floyd. Um, oh, no. Well, I, I don't even know what question to say. But the fuck? Exactly, Claudia. Oh, this oh, is the mentality of capital, people. Capital TF. Like, yeah. Really? Like, fired immediately. Fire immediately. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit and trying to act like you don't know that it's wrong. Really? That part. Really? That's what started everything, fool. This happens a lot. You know, they do this all the time. They think it's funny because there's a brotherhood between them. And they don't, we've seen time and time again, they rarely get penalized for it. So why would they stop? But then you wonder why people want to defund the police 
and want to take take money out of the police department to, to put into the communities because you ain't doing shit with your money but creating Valentine's Day cars that look like a, like look like shit. And so you wonder why they don't, they don't really realize that we're saying defund the police because we want to try to get them some mental health as well. Agreed. Some type of help that will allow them to understand Agreed. what we're going through so they will know how to stand in their truth when they're trying to protect us. We got to give them the skills. We got they got to go back to school. They're not gonna, they're exactly. Not gonna, Agreed. They need to stop recruiting clan members because that's that what part. Yes. And, I definitely think that they need to go and do more of a background search before they just hand somebody a badge and a gun. You know what I mean? And then put them in neighborhoods that they don't know the neighborhood that they're patrolling. And that's why we have but, a problem. We do. They don't but, get it. They don't care. But you angry. What would make you and create a, a card like that? It's absolutely ridiculous. It's mm -hmm. childish, actually. It's actually childish. It's just too it's easy to, to become it's a ignorant. police officer. It's too easy to become a police officer. Have y'all ever tried to get a Macy's credit card? Ah, my credit is seven ninety five. I got turned down from Macy's. It is harder to get a Macy's credit card than to be a goddamn police officer in America, and that's. I'm Mary had a little limb. Like I'm just yeah, I got a Macy's card. Get one of those government PPP loans. You know what I'm saying? You know what okay. I'm saying? I got a Macy's card. Mary had a little limb. <laughs> See now I get it. I get it now because I was See? seeing it pop up in places and I was like, and what does everybody get? Mary? I think Halle Berry even had it. And that's how Mary had a little lamb. Hey, you get like, it now, right? What? We're going to use it. So anyway, that's so that's that's the, LAPD, <laughs> the LAPD that continues to disrespect black people, you get a big F you from Cocktails with Queen. Sorry, um, Fox Soul. Y'all just blur that out if you have to. I, I, I just really feel really strongly about that. Ladies, Aisha Curry's latest uh, post proves the internet will always bring up the past. Um, Steph Curry's wife posted a new photo online and caught backlash because years earlier, she criticized other women for wearing very little clothing. Her previous tweet said, everyone's into barely wearing clothes these days, huh? Not my style. I like to keep the good stuff covered up. After followers called her a hypocrite, she responded by saying she was speaking about someone who wore pasties at a Starbucks. Do you think people are being too hard on Aisha and should she refrain, should people refrain, I'm sorry, should Aisha refrain from policing what other women choose to wear? I think people are kind of hard on her all the time. They, they always are. Right. I feel that too, because everything with that pose that you just saw, it was classy. It was. She wasn't showing anything. Yes. But yet you, we, we get you it. Your skin. You build it to, you know, your imagination. It's still classy. You know what I mean? Yes. I know exactly what she's talking about. It's some ladies that wear wear so little till it's almost like you should have came out here new because you look like a mess in that. Yeah. And they outside walking amongst everybody like, hey, this is what I'm yeah. talking today. You like, baby, just can we get a, a, a sprinkle some class on you, please. There's a big difference between a beautiful photo shoot where she's covering her private parts than someone going into uh, a, you know, a Wendy's or a, a restaurant, a place of business where there's kids and you got your booty hanging out, titties hanging out. And there's kids there. That's, that's that's two different things. And I think people are like so quick to be like, ah, gotcha. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. Like use common sense. That was a guy. It was a damn photo shoot. Right. So the, people, the people are sitting on G and waiting on O when it comes to making um, someone that is trying to be up, you know, um, trying to be upstanding, trying to be a good mom, trying to be a businesswoman, you know, because most people want to find the flaw. That's what they want to do because when they find a flaw in you, it normalizes flaws in them. Let me ask y'all something. Have y'all ever noticed that you can post something with a lot of drama and you get all these likes and you post something positive about business you'll or get about positivity yeah. and you'll get, and it's almost confusing, almost like yeah. well, that's why right I was giving love and, and, and supporting and you guys aren't trying to, you know, circulate that and let that go viral. But I say something that's like, whoa, out of pocket, it's everywhere with their own little catchphrases. But that's what it is. They sitting on G, waiting on O to find what is wrong with you so it can it can make them feel better about the things that are wrong with them. Like you guys said, it was classy. It's art. It's artistic. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. She's a beautiful woman. She's a mother. And she should be celebrating her body as, as much as she can. And, and she I think recently that's lost, 
she recently lost like 30 pounds or something yes, she like did. that. By, you know, cooking so it. Yeah, she lost yeah. weight and everything. So, right. you know, she feels good, you know, but people will, will figure out anyway, like Selena said, to justify their bad behavior yeah. about a Behave. moment for her. That what okay. that moment was all hers. Let Aisha had that, y'all. There's some it. people that no matter what they do, they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. They, they do the same thing to Sierra. They do the same thing to Aisha Curry. Anytime they open their mouth, oh, they want to just be hypocrites. And you're so right, Lisa Ray, about people just focusing on the negative. And I want to just bring up, we have like about two minutes before the break. Last week, we had Kiki on here, Kiki Wyatt. And she mm. came on here and she talked about a whole bunch of stuff. She apologized profusely. The comments were the queens let her off the hook. We were not giving her a real interview. I just want to address that real quick. Y'all may want to watch the whole entire interview in its entirety. Yes, we didn't come for her throat, but there was a couple moments in this interview that we, a couple of us, try to hold her accountable to really, you know, take her to half. And if y'all missed that, that's on y'all. But you know what? Yeah, we could have been harder on her, but this is a platform where people, we invite them to come on, not to be attacked and to be dragged, but to, act, to, to let them speak their truth. And I feel like people were just like, y'all did not watch the whole thing. Y'all didn't post the clip when she was crying and apologizing, but you post the clip, you know, that that serves your narrative just to continue yes. piling on this woman. She made a mistake. We didn't like it. No one co-signed what she did originally. That's why we had her come on it so she could uh, apologize. Don't y'all feel that? Did y'all see that online? Did y'all see any of that? I, yeah, I... I, 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 I mean, saw... I, I had a couple people step into my messages and I just was like, dude, like we have to remember there's still guests on our show yeah. and we're going to have respect for another uh, wo black woman, y'all. I mean, that's what we do here at Queens. So, well, well, they got mad at us when we, you know, they felt like we were overdoing it with Ice Cube. So what we're trying to do is be embracing of black people, you know, because that's what this is supposed to be about remember we're supposed to be sticking together remember and just me personally i'm not in the business of of bashing black women anymore i just don't want to do that anymore i just feel like that's not what this platform is about she came on here to say her piece exactly yes. what claudia said if we don't have a heaven or a hell to put her in and neither do y'all so at the end of the day if you have a problem with her you, you can always go to her page and address it. But that's not what we were, that is not what our focus was. Our focus as the Queens was to give her a platform to say what she had to say. Now, whether you like it or not, that's journalism. We're supposed to be able to, you know, see, see both sides of the coin. It's not journalism, even though we're not journalists, we're not claiming to be that, but we have to be non-biased. We have mm. to be non-biased and allow people to say their piece. And you know what, and, and I know we're going over, Y'all really want us to drag the black women and coddle the black men. That's what y'all show us time and time again. Because Ice Cube, although it got it got it got tense on the show, to my knowledge, he didn't have an issue with us. He's he a grown did. man. He was cool he with the conversation. He knows he's gonna be held accountable and asked. And it, it, I think it came up worse than it really did because we were all talking at once because we were all so passionate, including him. And and I and, and I invited him back. We all did so. He didn't have a problem, but y'all had a problem with it because y'all used to coddling men and y'all want to trash women. That's why reality shows where black women are being dragged are so goddamn popular. Y'all say you don't want that shit, but that's exactly what you really want. You want blood and you won't be happy till we drag her. And then, yes, I, I went back and watched the interview afterwards. I didn't like it. But guess what? Once someone apologizes and takes accountability and says, I'm sorry, I, I thought I was disgusting. She was disgusted at her own behavior. I think we should take her at face value and unless she does it again. Exactly. Let her apologize. And, and, and can I say this to Claudia mistake, just to add to you know? it? People also need to look at the initial video that happened. Remember, we were kept trying to say to her, what was the thing that, that made you start ranting? Yeah. And, you know, us as celebrities, y'all, they take moments and and blow them out of proportion. It's like, oh, got that moment. It was that clip that they needed. So if you went back and because when I saw the video of it, I said, oh, no wonder she got mad. So because she had had a drink and they they found a little button to push and they ran with it. And so when she came here, she apologized and we allowed her to. And I do think I do think her, her behavior was inappropriate in that interview. And Milan Christopher reached out to me about why don't you have me on here? It's not about the interview. It's about like it, it's a bigger thing. And I appreciate your interview. But like she, we can all agree the behavior wasn't cool. That's not calling her, but, but let her apologize and move on. And, and that's between her and Milan. That's going to be and, between and, and her and Milan. I want to say when people do interviews, because I, I, I started the whole thing by saying I know what a rant is. Sometimes you got to look deeper into 
Mm. What was that about maybe before she even got on? Or what triggered her that could be from her past that made it that interview right there say, stop, I'm not going any further time out. I need a break. What mm. if that moment was overwhelming for her that was just let her unleash? You know what I mean? So find out what the problem was or what the consequence or the whatever was about. So then you can then say your piece, but allow people to grow. Yeah. Allow them allow to understand where they've been so they can know where they're going. Because sometimes if you, you keep setting them back and suppressing them, you holding them back. That's and right. That's what we want to do. So we got we got we got we no, we got to take a break. But again, no one approved her initial interview. We, we we're not making excuses for it. It wasn't good. It wasn't a good look, and she knows that. That's why she came on. Now, if she does it again, carry on, have at it. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back with more cocktails of queens when we return. From Chile. Welcome back to Cocktails of Queens. We're having a fun show, a hot show. I need that hot because it's cold in Texas. All right, ladies. Tessica Brown, the Gorilla Glue Girl. I don't even like calling her that. I think that's a horrible name. But uh, y- y'all know what I'm talking about, the girl that put the Gorilla Glue in her hair. Um, a, salon, a salon owner has admitted online that he used a product on clients before. Eric Vaughn posted a TikTok video stating, so I've been using Gorilla Glue on people's hair for years, but this is the only way that you should ever use it. And at the end of a sew-in, I'll take my threads and knot them together, tie a tiny little dot of Gorilla Glue, blow dry, cut that, and then the knot is going nowhere. Would you let y'all... Stylist, put a dab of Gorilla Glue in your hair. What is going they on? You didn't even know, girl. They didn't right. Even know. But here's the thing. He said on the thread. So you stay right. safe from your hair because your hair is braided up under there. We didn't all have sewing, so we know about that. So right. that is not the same. And these people out here that's going to try to, you know, help her with this case that she has against Gorilla Glue. Hey, you don't buy Gorilla Glue in the hair. Um, I at all you know what i'm saying you got to go over to the where the hardware is where right. the hardware reside where the hardware reside where the hardware reside <laughs> i know she raised like twenty four thousand in her go for me she said she's gonna donate twenty thousand dollars of it to the surgeon who um uh to his charities so Dr. People doing it for clout and i'm one of them i was like did she do this for clout but i am happy to hear that she's donating she said i i don't have to any more expenses except my flight home so she's like gonna donate twenty thousand dollars uh, and keep like two or three thousand of it to, for expenses. Big, big That's big. actually wonderful to hear. To be very honest with you, because yeah. my my biggest fear um, is that once a person gets that much attention uh, from something happened, you know what's that thing Munchausen that people want to they they do things. The children get sick. They you know I mm-hmm. ju- I just hope that she doesn't like what's next. Yeah, crazy glue. Um, well, yeah, that's a good point, Vivica. I mean, that's my biggest fear for this young lady. I mean, I heard she has a million followers now. She has t-shirts. She has merchandise, you know? So yeah. Yeah. Don't think about it. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's a fool to me. So I don't know. know, So we're going to keep our good eye on her. Both of them. I mean, well, I guess in one hand, it's like, girl, that's a fool. But on the other hand, it's like, well, hell, I went through some things, you know, I, I, I messed up. Might as well capitalize on it. You know what I'm she saying? She did. I don't know. It's just a fool. Nowadays, people can chew bubble gum and get the gum stuck on their face, and then now it's a, it's a thing. I just, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But I feel some kind of way about this shit after further evaluation. <laughs> Me too. Come on, Pim. Come on, Pim. Come on, okay, okay. She Let's, said, wait oh, one wait. minute. Wait a wait minute right now. now. What? Right. Um, I'm hating. I got 550,000 followers. I've been in this goddamn business for 20 some years. This girl put some Gorilla Glue in her hair and some bad lashes and she got a million followers and got people donating to her GoFundMe. I'm about to do something dumb this week. Maybe, what should I use? So no, Claudia. Comments, maybe some, uh, I, I don't, don't know. I don't have time for Gorilla Glue. I don't have right. that I ain't got time for none of that. She's ain't nobody got, got time she's for got none got of that. that. Absolutely time. not. <laughs> I have, like I I said, have time for Claudia. that. Claudia. You just, said the, you just said the biggest thing, though. You've had a career that's lasted for years. It's a moment. The majority of those people, I guarantee you, they're going to fall off. We're going to be looking for the next story of somebody. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just want to make sure we watch her. You know? huh? I want to host parties and clubs and get paid for, for endorsements on Instagram, too. She's Listen, but here's the thing. What are your followers for? Are they right. following you to see you fuck up again? Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry, guys. Sorry, producers. <laughs> Are they following to see you mess up again? 
or are they following you because you have all these groovy things going on that are positive and amazing? And I'll be giving homeless people money and helping out people. I don't get no no likes off of that. Put some gorilla glue. And get, like this is crazy. Well, girl, put some gorilla glue on the trays when you're serving the people. <laughs> Hey y'all, Cardi B has an interesting take on Valentine's Day. The Grammy award-winning rapper posted this tweet. Men do deserve to get gifts as well for Valentine's Day, but the gifts have to be less expensive than the girl's gift. So if he buys you flowers, buy him grass. Ladies, what do you think about her perspective? And should the man always spend more money on the gift? I don't, I mean, you know, cause there's certain situations that he may not make more money than you. Or this just may not even be his thing. He may not even be a gift giver, meaning he doesn't know how to give, you know, little trinkler gifts. That's when you teach him. <laughs> or you get, go get okay, his class. Let's you know how 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 hear about that <laughs> conversation, Lisa Ray. So what if you, somebody comes in and you like, okay, it's Valentine's Day. Normally the woman gets wooed, this and the third. And he coming there with a whack gift. So what do you say? You say, um, now, honey, that sucks. So this is what you do. I mean, is it that bold? How do you approach telling someone that their gift is whack? So well, hard. I feel like this, if you are in a, in a position where somebody is giving you a gift, then there's communication, there's a relationship of some type where I should be able to say, because first of all, you're not going to give me anything that I don't like and I don't want. And you're okay. not going to make me keep okay. it because therefore I'm not going to use it. Therefore, you've already <laughs> wasted your money. And I don't want you to waste your money because what I want you to do is put it on something else that I really want. So I know that's right. I want. You know what I mean? It's so and, hard to so, tell someone that it was like that gift wasn't shit. I remember when I was dating this guy. No, he made a lot of money. No, he made no. a lot of money. And if I was in my little like thought phase, I would have trapped his ass if he was paid. And he still paid. Anyways, Valentine's came along. I said, oh, I know I'm about to get hooked up. He must have had his assistant. Maybe I was one of many. I don't know. Sent flowers. When I tell you these were the most bullshit flowers I ever got. You know when you see someone in the hospital and you're like, oh shit, I need some flowers from the gift shop. Maybe like $19. Yeah. Now, they were cute. But I guess I was like putting it in. I was like, well, yeah. oh, girl, you thought some diamonds was going to come through. Somebody was going to ring the doorbell when they opened up the door. Like, <laughs> not even there. I, mean, I don't even have a time to take, Claudia. I would have just like two dozen roses from the Kroger's would have been better than what the shit I got. I said, God damn. I, I don't even cute. like roses at <gasps> all. I, I, my heart. I am I am a hopeless romantic and my husband is that. Me so too. I, first first of all, you have to start with flowers. And and here's the thing. I think it's only one day out of the year for y'all, these men to show us their love. And in return, I'm with Cardi. I think they should get a little sum too. But you're going to get some tail at the end of the night. So you're going to be good anyway. You're going to get some exactly. tail oh, so, at the end of the oh, night. Oh, I get it. So, Selena, you like, they got to earn that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and let's just role play for a minute. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the days of courtship. For me, that's what it means for me and my husband. We actually go back to the days of courtship. Remember who he was in the beginning when he did all that stuff and it didn't have to be Valentine's Day? Right. Well, that's what that day is about, to remind you of how special you are. My, I, my husband was like, what you want for Valentine's Day? I was like, for you to do whatever you want to do and to remember who I am and what I like and to just plan it yourself. He did an excellent job. And my you thing is this, though, it doesn't take just one day. I want to feel that way like it's Valentine's Day every day. Mm. Every day. Because if I don't feel special, and I don't feel like a princess and a queen, you are not doing your job. Mm -hmm. And it That's doesn't take a too. gift for you to show me that. That's right. true too. You know what and I mean? That one day, I like for you to go back into your into the, the moments that we met and just remind me. Because I've been I've been married for almost this, we're going on 14 years this year. So after 14 years, you got to keep doing stuff to keep, you know what I'm saying? Love to keep it going, to keep, you know. So Valentine's Day is a treat. I did buy him something. I bought him two two bottles of cologne, the ones that he likes. But he gave me flowers. He put me on a. He gave me a, a massage. He took me to the movies. He took me yes. out to eat. All my favorite yes. stuff, but stuff that I like. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't about diamonds and pearls and all that. He's given me that already. It was about hey, I I I love you. I pay attention to you, and I'm I just want you to be you. happy. Yeah, I'm thinking of you. Of we, we 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 gotta take because a Valentine's Day for men is every day. 
Well, it should, you know what? And if you have a good man, and I'm going to say this, we got to take a break. If you have a good man, your man should always feel like he's special and the woman should always feel like she's special. And, and, and that's Thanks. not... And it's extra, Thanks. extra sauce on Valentine's Day. A little reverse cowgirl for that ass. Yes. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more cocktails of Queens when we return. Hey. I ain't got no more cocktails. It's, it's getting ready to be. Welcome back to Cocktails with Queens. We have a fun Valentine's Day celebration. And that's why we all have a little trace of red. Even Lisa, Lisa Red, can we see? I've never seen you no red gloves. Can we see the gloves? <laughs> that is true. Oh my God, Lisa Ray has a different color. I didn't even notice that she has a red gloves. Let me see, Lisa Ray. Hey now, <laughs> she also had a wrap, Selena. Uh oh, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. I mean, but those right. red gloves. She coordinated. Uh, them red gloves is big. Like she, them would have been white with like two pieces of red on it. It wouldn't have been that much red. <laughs> this is a stretch. She is doing her thing. So. We had we had some other stories to talk about, but breaking news just came out. Lisa Ray, you just got alerted to a special report that came through. You were being claimed by a rapper that said they had had sexual relations with you. Oh, that's what that so, means? Because I didn't know what that meant. I, I'm, I'm reading it now. Hmm. And it says, the game said he bagged you. And what? Like, now, let me say this, though. He's my, that's my boy. That's my friend. I mean, I we love the game. <laughs> so I ain't talked to him in a minute. But you know, COVID. Sorry, but we are super close. I, I, that's that's my. Oh, I can't say that. Ninja. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is wait, he this? <laughs> what did he say? This is where's this list? You said this. There's a list of. There's a list because a, a, a story came out. I don't know if it's true or not. Because sometimes the blogs they do be lying. They said that uh, he said he had sex with Kim Kardashian and Chloe, and that Kim was better. And then there was also like another list of people, and you were on that list. Later. Really? And and why is this list out? And why is he saying, you know what? You can't answer that. You know what? I'm going to go straight to the horse's mouth. I know that's I'll right. I'll call him. <laughs> I know that's and right. Watch it. Pick up the phone. I'm calling you. I like the game, though. I, ain't gonna I love him. He goes I, hard, though. He does. He definitely goes He got hard. it going on, too. He fine. Just, I got a husband. I, I love my husband. <laughs> but he got it going on. I don't know. That <laughs> she, like, she, she did that, that disclaimer real quick, quick didn't she? Wearing now. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. I got a husband. I love him down. Oh, girl, we know that, honey. Everybody I'm knows. just saying. 14 years. And he's a sweetheart. I, you know, I've, I've met him in person. I've talked to him. He's a, we used to be like friends back in the day. He is really a sweetheart. So That's I knew what I meant when we had, we was talking about the Meek Mills thing. You know, I wasn't talking about dating him. When I said, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm all about building relationships. Because when you get to know somebody be behind the persona of who they let the public know who they are, it's really refreshing because you get a chance to go, you're nothing like what I thought you were. Yeah. And because it, it happens to me all the time. People always me go, too. you're really cool. As if to say that I wasn't, but they don't know any better. You know what I mean? Because they get clips and little pieces of stuff that they hear that's out there in the drama field stuff. And that's right. all that they get a chance to know about you until you get a chance to show up for them. And then you can show out and they can leave you and go, I like her. And it's like, yeah. You or they think you diamond. And that you're gonna pull that gun out like you did in the well, all, <laughs> all of that is true. You know so what? That's probably what the visual is in their mind when they see. Because I'm forever diamond. I would love for for, At all. for nice stuff about people to go viral every once in a while. Like I, I feel like we should start. You know, I know it's corny to some people, but it ain't corny to me. When you know something nice about someone, you know what? I'm gonna start off with y'all, Vivica Fox. This girl, um, we, we spent a lot of time together in New York. And you know what? She was very down to earth. And for, to, to be so famous and so big, she was very down to earth. Lisa <laughs> Ray can cook her damn ass. Yes. Off. Let me tell you that. And Selena, I met you recently. And you just, you're just so cool. You're like everybody's homegirl. Now, none of that will go viral. But if I said Lisa Ray was there next to somebody's husband and Vivica's dating another rapper and Selena took steroids to get fit, that would go viral. And none of that's just true. None of that's just true. Y'all refuse to make positive stuff go viral, and it's sickening. And when it goes opposite, when it goes left, it can only be because everybody's energy doesn't match. So mm. just because I didn't get along with her doesn't make me a bitch. It just means that we didn't get along. That's all. But talk to all these other 10 folks that I'm friends with, and they'll be able to tell you all the things they like about me that's positive. So you cannot believe what everybody else thinks. What is that saying? A man's uh, trash is another man's treasure. Yes. It's true. 
with friends and, and everybody. So you got to give a person a chance, you know, and not just consider, the, consider the source. If someone's out there putting so much negative about you, they probably had some issue with you or something They're Of course, they're going to come from a negative place. Can always consider the source y'all like, wow, this is like basic shit. Ain't it? Yeah. We don't want, they don't want to consider the source, guys. Yeah, I they want to be I unhappy. see Claudia, you just floating out of cocktails with queens. It's just messy for you today. Okay. Claudia in a minute is getting ready to be like, I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I ain't got no heat. I ain't gonna run in water. I ain't had a hot meal since last night. This okay. alcohol is my only friend right now. I'm gonna keep warm. And your girl. So, so I'm gonna take a shot, girl, for all of us. Pimping ain't easy out over at Claudia House. Mm. We're gonna take a shot. look good trying to do it, don't she? But hey, Claudia, can we just say this also that, you know, to everybody that's out there, um, if there's somebody that you know that's older, and their electricity or something, check on them, check on them, you know, because like that, what that came through, that came through with a vengeance. Yeah. And they were like, I woke up to that, a million people without power, like, and it's cold. So check on people there, y'all, look out. It's so sad online. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break and please, very good words of advice from Vivica. Please check on your peoples. It is it's terrible out here in these streets. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back with a game for the last few minutes, not the game, but a game oh, on good. Cocktails with oh, good. <laughs> You are interested. Well, we can't wait to see that. And Sugar Fox is on 24 hours a day on Lifetime. Like, I hope you have company. Like, seriously. It's so wrong, it's right. Right? It's right here. It ain't Lifetime. It's Vivica Fox Station channel. That's Listen, the amount of bags that this, this stuff that is over there getting is crazy. My mama was like, I sat around Valentine. Vivica got them together at the end. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shout love, out to my mother, Brenda Thompson. Thompson. She watches every single oh. Vivica Fox lifetime show that comes on she she pro, she promotes and watches everything that the queens does she knows about all of claudia's cuss outs down to the to the uh, uh housewives and beyond she knows about all of lisa ray's business her uh her uh Iana von Zott. she knows yes. all about her personal family okay. my mother is all in your business but honey when i tell you she's down to that lifetime yeah. getting all I of those that. vivica fox movies Thank you. you know what we should do for Mother's Day? We should have our mothers on here. Oh, oh honey, wait a minute now. Uh, uh, wait a minute now. Hold up, Claudia. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, right. 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 We're we not bringing Evelina on here. No, man. Oh, Lord. I, oh, oh, we only got three minutes left. Okay, before okay. we go, we're going to play a round of Are You Smarter Than a Kid? Black History Edition. I'll ask oh, you a kid level question. And if you guess incorrectly, you must take a drink. Here we go. Claudia gonna get them all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was Malcolm X's birth name? Malcolm. Malcolm. Who? Malcolm Little. Malcolm Little is the correct name. So. Okay. Oh, well, wait a minute. She got some sideboard help over there. No. Yeah, yeah Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Selena, you're gonna get Malcolm now. Selena, right. you cheated, Selena. So you cheated. Oh, I said Malcolm at first, but and you said his first name. First name. Someone wrote you in the chat. Take a drink, damn it. There I will be no it. cheating on the show. Actually, right. y'all, we should all take a drink. Let's all take a drink. This is preposterous. I, you don't have to strip me to take no drink. Okay. Let your husband do that. <laughs> Who was the most famous conductor of the Underground Railroad? Harry Tubman. There we go. Very good. What's the oldest civil rights organization that's still active today? NAACP. There you go. There you go. It's easy. Who was the first black woman to speak out publicly against slavery? Um, Who took it to No, 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 say, Ida, Ida B. Wells. say Miss Jane Pittman. Ida B. Wells. All of y'all take a drink. Should join a truth. Should join a truth. Yes, yes. Showing yes, yes, yes. yes. up, yes. Who assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? John oh, Wayne Gacy? No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think. D. D. Levy. I said John Wayne Gacy. Didn't he kill Kennedy? No, <laughs> uh, wait, James, no. James Earl Ray. Oh, girl, don't nobody oh, know him. James Earl Jones. Don't nobody know James Earl Jones that killed the Martin Luther King. James Earl Ray. Why does zero? Why these killers always have the three names? Like the two. The they have too many names. I ain't gonna even say it. <laughs> mm. Bill Billy shit. <laughs> All right, we we are done here. That that's enough. Uh, this is a. <laughs> 
<laughs> Claudia, go get warm, girlfriend. I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. Drink I feel like I'm high end homeless. Hey. <laughs> well, I'm hard. I got a portion, no heat. What the hell is that about? I want to thank Vivica A. Fox, Selena Johnson, and Lisa Ray for being with us tonight. Such a fun show, ladies, celebrating Valentine's Day. Actually, the day after Valentine's Day. This is official National Side Piece Day. So side pieces, go spend your time with somebody's man and go enjoy your time because it ain't going to happen till uh, again, till uh, uh, December 26th. Uh, thank you so much for watching us. <laughs> Oh, real quick, Vivica, tell us where we're going to catch the Fox Soul Screening Room one more time. Yes, the Screening Room is going to be coming on this Thursday, you guys. Go to my, uh, you know, I'm going to be posting on at Miss Vivica Fox on Twitter, but we'll be right here on Fox Soul Thursday, February 18th. And I believe it's either 7 or 8 p.m., but I'll confirm it. Check out our page. She's going to make a pop-in little promo video for us. You, always you already fun. know. All thanks for watching on the Fox Soul Mobile app. Stay tuned for Later with Leon up next. I'll see y'all ladies next Monday. Bye, ladies. Bye. 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 Bye.